The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Let's go to socialism and human nature and then get Joel Gilbert's take. But look, in the aggregate, if we sell 10,000, 20,000 copies of this film, that's nothing to my operation as much as it costs. For Joel, it helps him make his next film. But you need to support independent media that promotes liberty. You need to get his film and show it to friends and family. And I watched the film. I agree with about 95% of it. It doesn't matter if I disagree with some of it. What matters is overall it's showing what poison collectivism is and how dangerous it is and how it's slavery. And people are ready to learn this and know this now, especially folks that have lived under it, not the trendies. They believe that they're part of something big, and, and through extension, they're taking over when they're the biggest chumps. Let's go to that clip. Socialism is all negative. It's a temptation. It can't bring to anything good. And I will raise the minimum wage, and if you can't afford it, we will subsidize your care. Man, human being is very weak. He is vulnerable for temptations. $4,000 tuition credit every student. You don't have to pay an income tax. You're already having a tough time. Part of uh, human nature belongs to devil, part to God. The part belonging to devil makes him follow socialism. By giving them higher salaries. And I know you need that. Whenever you hear, I'm going to cut your taxes, give you higher, higher salaries and free health care and free everything, don't walk, run. Come in the alleyway, man. We've got something for you. And the guys are clearly thugs. Joel Gilbert, tell f folks about who that gentleman was, the former KGB uh, officer. Yeah, that was uh, Konstantin Prebajinsky. He's a KGB defector, a former communist theorist. And he's throughout the film, and he tells all the reality of socialism and communism, uh, very knowledgeable. And he explains that uh, socialism and communism are just a fairy tale for illiterate people who are led into essentially the gulag. The uh, end result of the yellow brick road was not that Dorothy met a wonderful wizard. It's that he sent her to the witch's castle and she was taken prisoner in the dungeon. In the, in the communist system, the flying monkeys get you in the end. Uh, anytime you hear someone say, I'm going to give you all these goodies, and we have the perfect formula for social change, you're going to end up in prison. Prison camp is the end result of every socialist experiment. And you're put there by these leaders who have fake lives and fake backgrounds. They're completely uh, pathological liars. I documented in my last film, Dreams of My Real Father, that Obama's entire personal history, political and personal, is a lie. So I think by uh, promising people all these wonderful goodies, in their mind, it's a psychological issue. They're trying to relieve themselves of the guilt on the one hand for lying about everything. On the other hand, they're bringing their personal destruction in their own life to the public sector and destroying everyone else's life. That's right. Misery loves company. When poor folks, most of them are working so hard to know Obamacare raised payroll taxes, to, to have them say, you don't need to be paying income taxes. We're going to get rid of it for poor people. And then he increased it. That yeah. is so cold-blooded. I mean, they, they, it's so sick. And then a lot of poor folks, though, that are on welfare, I've run into them, they really think that if you've got a nice house and a car and that if you have them come do a job, that somehow you're using them when you're actually creating an economy and that it is the nouveau riche in all the studies that actually create the wealth and have the services. If they weren't there, there'd be nothing. What would you... They just don't know how economies work. It's, it's so sad. Well, instead of the president explaining to people, like, uh, thank God this guy opened a business and he's employing people in the neighborhood and you can get your friend to come work there and let's support this business and everybody come and buy ice cream at this new ice cream store on the south side of Chicago. Instead, the progressive mentality is if you opened a business, you are evil. You did it on the back of someone else. It's this uh, Marxist nonsense from the uh, Bolshevik era that Obama was trained and indoctrinated in his entire life. Uh, but in my film, for example, I talk to people on Southside Chicago and they're saying, you know, we make $500 a week, but the taxes are taking 200 away. So they can't even make it because of the taxation. If you are being paid $500 a week, you should be paying no income tax. Zero. They That's common sense. And, and until the 60s, no one was charged. It, it, it's just incredible. People say, well, how's the government run? Off all the other taxes, there's hundreds of them, and they're adding hundreds more. Yeah. 
Well, they take a payroll tax. Of course, everything is taxed at a high level. But the uh, progressive agenda is just a war on every level of society, every economic group, and especially the middle class, because they want to eliminate it. In socialist economies, they don't have a middle class. There's an elite class that runs everything and controls all the wealth, and then one big lower class. Uh, but let's look at the next clip. It's uh, about the illegals and what they're trying to do. They don't have to stay, remember. El Salvador. También. It's Mexico. Mexico, they don't have Mexico. Puebla. Guatemala. Guatemala también. Guatemala. We're recruiting and training Latino organizers. The antiquated uh, immigration system needs to be changed. We will transform this nation. We can have a new El Salvador. You can have, a, you can have a stations in, in, in the border states, a station in these states. ¿Qué porcentaje de gente en México quieren volver a América? Es el 80%, el 90%. Apoyo a Obama, ¿por qué? Por el plan, el plan de salud. ¿Por qué no te cuidas y trabajar en tu propio país? Porque el problema de que no puedo quedarme en mi país es por el sistema del, del socialismo. <risa> So for, for people that don't speak Spanish, uh, yeah, for people that don't speak Spanish, uh, these were, I was talking to illegals at Home Depot, and they said they left their countries because it was being destroyed by socialism. And you see Obama and his gang executing a strategy to flood America with illegals uh, so that they can help target and destroy the middle class America. And when you know communist ideology and what they call the program that General Parton, the former head of the Air Force Weapons Development, three-star general, used to come on and break down with us. Once they take down a country, they collapse it in socialism, then bring in communism, that's the, 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 the military occupation. Then they use that country to, quote, target the next country with socialism and then, then collapse it. And that's what you show in the graphic is the country collapsing and then the communists take over. They admit that's the plan. Cloward and Piven is just one variant that I mention a lot because people know what that plan is. It's so diabolical. And, and, and so Central and South America is collapsing under communism right now and socialism. So they run up here to get the free health care, but no, that just collapsed their country. Well, they're being used. They're being used by our socialists to destroy this country as well. The difference between today's socialists and Marxists in the Democrat Party and the Marxists from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s is, back then they would look you in the eye and say, we're gonna destroy you, we're gonna destroy America. Now they look you in the eye and say, we want to help poor people, and then they do the same thing. The they go, oh, the it's same. children when only something like 17% are under 18. And the, and the illegals that are coming have huge criminal records. They can get fake identities. How do you become a new person? You don't have to change your identity or anything. You just come to the U.S. and be whoever you want. Kill as many people as you want. Do whatever you want. Well, here in California, for example, 50% of the prison population are illegals. We have the Nortes, the Sedenos, different criminal gangs. Uh, the people coming over the border are not people that see America the same way we do. They're people with completely different agendas. And Obama is lying to everybody with a very evil plan to uh, destroy middle class America. You're right. How long is the next clip on drug culture? Short, 30, Let, 40 seconds. Yeah, let's go ahead and play that clip. Okay. Fundamentally transforming the United States of America. Colorado became a proving ground for the progressives. And boy, oh boy, have they gone to town. 
Is it possible to get a sample? No. No? No. How hard is it to get the card? Well, I have these really high arches. Yeah, let's see. Well, that's a bummer, man. That's a bummer. What you a bummer. What? I got to suffer with it every single day. Yeah? <laughs> the idea of the left is if we can get these traditional ideas broken down, if people can say, well, let's smoke a little marijuana, what's the harm? Well, then the next barrier the left wants to attack is easier to attack. Well, okay, we do a little marijuana. What about a little bit of marijuana, maybe a little bit of cocaine? You've created a drug culture. And that's an easier culture to captivate, to control, and to enslave. And that's why George Soros backs it. And to be clear, I'm against the drug war. It's another form of evil. They always bring in the crisis, offer their solution. But now you basically waive your rights. I've looked into these marijuana cards and things where people are now put into the system as well. And it's just a way to control them. So I do agree with your perspective on that. Okay, let's play the next one. It's uh, Islam in Detroit, and I show the connection between the progressive and Islamist ideology. All right, well, let's stay there and talk about that teaming up that you cover uh, okay. in the film with Joel Gilbert in the final segment with our guest. We have a few more clips. Uh, we're going to also talk to Peggy Joseph. That's the last clip. Get okay. the DVD at InfoWarsStore.com. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.